Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about mixing the Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels for the cloud effect. If you're not familiar with the cloud effect you can already find a lot of videos on YouTube and I'm gonna publish my big one for a big background with metallic most likely next week so check that out too. The thing with mixing enamels and in general acrylic paint is that it needs an additional binder when you thin it down and that's the purpose of pouring medium. There's a lot of recipes out there but it's mostly personal preference because Floetrol, glue, liquid heads, they all feel a little bit different and have a little bit uh, a different finish. Like Liquitex is more glossy, this is more matte and glue is more a simple binder. But in general they all keep the pigment connection together. And that's the same thing with enamels. Also you need to have them thinned, so you also need to stabilize them to not break apart. For the rest you can handle satin enamels the same way like you would acrylics. So I personally say if you're not sure about your recipe, if with acrylics or enamels, use 30% pouring medium to paint and you're always going to be fine. Now with enamels and the cloud effect look, we have seen by experiment of many great artists now that the paint needs to be a little thinner than normal so that's one point another point is that also these colors are mixable like uh, any other you would use and you can also store them the same way you do store acrylics i tried that already so what i mean with mixable is if you look at the color wheel green and uh, blue give you turquoise so that's what i also gonna do that will also happen in your pore and that's why you might get muddy colors with colors that don't work together so i'm gonna show you two options one making turquoise and for the rest i eventually gonna mix some additional gold or i don't know yet okay so let's have a go Okay, so in your base white, like here, you would eventually, if you use white and not like blue, as a base white, so the main color of your painting, you would eventually use a 50-50 ratio or 60-40, so a relatively high percentage of enamels. But you will get the cloud effect already if you use like a third and that's what I'm gonna do now so I only want to make a little bit of turquoise so I'm gonna put like a spoonful of green and I'm gonna really just put a third of blue in general that would now if you have it color in color obviously would be enough what I said so one-third I don't know if it's gonna give me the right turquoise yet so I could add also some normal acrylic paint um, blue but now let's see how I would mix it so this is the total amount of paint now and now what I like to do I know this is really expensive Liquitex pouring medium but you need for acrylics or for enamels just really yeah that's already it it's not yeah it's like half a teaspoon that's already enough because um, like for everything else that's even less than 30 percent pouring medium but it has it's made for that basically Yeah, on camera you can't hardly see that because it's really a deep uh, permanent green but now it's still very greenish I don't want to add more enamel because that's also rather expensive of course so I'm just gonna get a little bit of more blue Yeah. 
By adding more blue, of course, the percentage of enamel goes down and also of the pouring medium, but that's still okay. It was not like I added half a cup of paint. So now I have a nice deep turquoise. I have like half a teaspoon of Liquitex and in ratio now I probably have 20% in amine. Now I need to stain it down and my water has like a little bit of troll in it that ensures me always that I never have really thinned it so much down that I break the pigment connection. So that's how you mix it up. What I have to say is when you store it, which is perfectly fine, it will thicken a bit. So make sure you have it in a container that you can open and add some additional water. So now I would have normal consistency, but I'm gonna make it thinner. That's when it works better. And that's really the trick. The tricky part also, it's not the pouring medium that you're gonna use or whatever. Like in everything fluid art, also with the enamels, it's purely the consistency that's gonna make it work or not. So probably it is just some exercising. So this one is good now, it's uh, thin. And closing the pot. These pots are from Amazon, they're for urine. But they're super cool, super good size. Now just quickly gonna show you white that I gonna mix a bit more. So I covered the bottom, that's eventually one and a half uh, tablespoons. And this I would have as a part of my base white, even I already mixed a big container, but I want to show you how I would do this one and what another option could be. So opening up the white, always mix that before you go ahead. But I, And here I would add half, half, so sorry, 50% to paint so I would use a little bit more than with the normal paint that just goes in there like here I have the bottom of the cup covered and I add half of it of enamel to it and now just for everybody who doesn't have Liquitex I'm gonna use the most common one which is Floatrol and there I would not only use like half a, or a teaspoon or something like that. I would use a little bit more Floatrol as a conditioner and a binder and it gives a very smooth effect. Long taking, uh, opening the paint opening time a little bit more. So here I would add the same amount when I added the white covering the base. So like 50-50 to paint. Or of course that already gives you a little bit more liquid so the amount of water you add will always be different from paint to paint. Craft paint is mostly thinner or whatever. So first you mix this up together with the pouring medium and then you add water to the right consistency. Okay so I hope that I hope this helped you to get your right consistency for your cloud effect. I hope you check out my video when I really make my big painting with uh, enamels and metallics. So have a look out for that, subscribe and I hope to see you back soon.